Buddha was born in Shakya, Shakya Kingdom of Kapilvasta which lies in present-day Rupandehi district, Lumbini zone of Nepal. Buddhism is the second largest religion in Nepal. According to 2011 census, the Buddhist population in Nepal is 9% of the country population. It has not been possible to assign with certainty the year in which Prince Siddhartha the birth name of the Buddha was born, it is usually placed at around 623 BCE. According to 2001 census, 10.74% of Nepal's population practice Buddhism, consisting mainly of Tibeto-Burman-speaking ethnicities. In Nepal's hill and mountain regions Hinduism has absorbed Buddhist tenets to such an extent that in many cases they have shared deities as well as temples. For instance, the Muktinath temple is sacred and a common house of worship for both Hindus and Buddhists. Overview In Nepal the majority of people identify as Hindu, however, Buddhist influences are pervasive in most aspects of Nepali culture to an extent that Buddhist and Hindu temples are shared places of worship for peoples of both faiths so that, unlike, in other countries, the distinction between Hinduism and Buddhism in Nepal is not always clear. During the reign of King Amsavarman, the Nepalese princess Brikuti played a significant role in spreading and developing Buddhism in Tibet. Tibetan Buddhist architecture has long been influenced by Nepalese artists and sculptors like Araniko. The sacred Buddhist texts in Mahayana Buddhism are mainly written in the Ranjana alphabet, the script of the Nuars, or scripts like Lansa, which are derived from Ranjana. In traditional Nepalese Buddhism, there are nine special texts which are called the Nine Dharma Jewels, Navagrantha, and these are considered the nine books of Buddhism par excellence. Astasahasrika Prajnaparamita Sutra Gandavyuha Sutra Ten Stages Sutra Samadhiraja Sutra Lankavatara Sutra Lotus Sutra Tathagataguya Sutra Lalitavistara Sutra Golden Light Sutra Among the Tibeto-Burman-speaking peoples, Tibetan Buddhism is the most widely practiced form. Nuar Buddhism is a form of Vajrayana influenced by Theravada Buddhism. Many Buddhist groups are also influenced by Hinduism. Buddhism is the dominant religion of the thinly populated northern areas, which are inhabited by Tibetan-related peoples, namely the Sherpa, Lopa, Manangi, Thakali, El Homi, Dolpa and Nyimba. They constitute a small minority of the country's population. Ethnic groups that live in central Nepal such as the Gurungs, Lepsha, Tamung, Magar, Nuars, Yaka, Thami, Chantil and Cheping are also Buddhist. These ethnic groups have larger populations compared to their northern neighbors. They came under the influence of Hinduism due to their close contacts with the Hindu castes. In turn, many of them eventually adopted Hinduism and have been largely integrated into the caste system. The Kurati people, especially the Limba and the Rai people, have also adopted Tibetan Buddhist practices from their Buddhist neighbors. The Jural people, who are considered a Kurati, have also adopted Tibetan Buddhism. History Buddha was born as Prince Siddhartha in Nepal. He attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree in Bodh Gaya, in present-day Bihar, India. He there preached his teachings and thus Buddhism came into existence. Pre-Lychchavi Buddhism Emperor Ashoka of the Maurya Empire put up a pillar at Lumbini, the birthplace of the Buddha, in the 2nd century BCE. After the Third Buddhist Council, Ashoka missionaries to Nepal. It is also believed that Ashoka went to Patan and had four stupas built there. It is believed that his daughter Charamati established the village of Chabahal, which is located between Kathmandu and Buddha. Buddhism during the Lichavi period 400 to 750. The Lichavi period saw the flourishing of both Hinduism and Buddhism in Nepal. Excellent examples of Buddhist art of the period are the half-sunken Buddha in Pashapatinath, the sleeping Vishnu in Buddhanilkantha, and the statue of Buddha and the various representations of Vishnu in Changu Narayan. Another Buddhist text, the Manjushramula Kalpa, mentioned Manadeva as the king of Nepal Mandala. Researchers believe the Malasarvastivadevanaya was written in the 2nd century CE, and that the Manjushramula Kalpa was written during Manadeva's reign. 
The Swayambhu Purana, the ancient Buddhist Purana text, and a Lichavi inscription all mention Nepal Mandala. Buddhist inscriptions and chronicles and Tibetan sources also record a few tantric Buddhist deities, namely Akshobhya, Amitabha, Vajrayajini, Vajraparava, Yusnisavijaya and Samantabhadra. Strong influence from animism resulted in belief in Buddhist deities such as the Pankaraxas. Religious tolerance and syncretism were stressed during the Lichavi period. King Manadeva paid homage at both Hindu and Buddhist sites. His family subsequently found expression for their beliefs in various religions. The worship of the Kaitya and the Rath Jatra cart festival of Avalokiteshvara were introduced around this period. Many ancient sites in the Kathmandu Valley were identified with major Buddhist Kaitiyas, such as Swayambhu, Budhanath, Kathmandu and the four Ashoka stupas of Patan, and another 200 stone Satya, Kaitiyas dating from the Lichavi period, were testified to the widespread antiquity of Satya, Kaitya worship. It is possible that this practice, in its earliest incarnation, was related to the worship of stones, which may have originated in the early, rival Karata inhabitants of the valley, prior to the Lichavis. According to one of the earliest Lichavi inscriptions, Katya worship ordinarily consisted of ritual circumambulation of the Katya and offering standard items such as incense, colored powder, oil lamps and ablutions. At times, the inscriptions indicate, it could even involve resurfacing an existing Katya and covering the new surface with many elaborate paintings. Katya worship was an important factor in bringing more of the proto Nuar tribal inhabitants into the Buddhist fold, as it was a devotional practice designed for the general public. Thus, the masses probably began practicing the cart festival of Avalokiteshvara, Matsendranath Jana Baha Daya Jatra and Bunga Daya Jatra during the latter half of the 7th century AD. This festival was celebrated by hundreds or even thousands of people, who helped to construct and transport a huge, wheeled cart that bore the image of Avalokiteshvara for several days or weeks along a specific route. The introduction of this festival must have been an instant success among the majority of the Kathmandu Valley population. This strengthened Buddhism's standing in relation to the other Hindu and animist faiths of the valley at the time. Forty stone inscriptions made some mention of Buddhism throughout the Lichavi period. Most of the references are concerned with monasticism. However, almost nothing is known about the day-to-day -day life in the Vihara monasteries or how they functioned administratively. The names of the fifteen Buddhist monasteries are known, and it is clear from the context in which some of these are named that they are among the most important religious sites of that time. It is not known for certain what schools of Buddhism were most prominent at the time. But the strongest early influences aside from an even earlier probable substratum of Pali Buddhism probably came from the Mahasangika, Samadhiya and the Sarvastivada schools. The Mikamaka and Yogacara schools were thought to be more influential in the later period with the emergence and growth of the Vajrayana school. Inscriptional evidence also proves that there was a string of traditional methods of making religious gifts. These offerings were used for earning blessing and making merit, and the women of the Buddhists seem to have taken the lead in offering these gifts. Strikingly, parallel points within the Buddhist cave contain inscriptions of Maharashtra, which predated the Lichvi Nepal. The references in the Lichavi inscriptions to the Mahayana and Vajrayana will be mentioned below in connection with Buddhist art and notable Buddhist figures of the Lichavi period. Topic. Buddhism during the Lichavi period 600 A Lichavi king, Amshuverma, married his daughter Brikuti to the ruler of Tibet, King Songtsen Gampo. According to legend, she received the begging bowl of the Buddha as part of her wedding dowry. It is believed that she introduced Buddhism into Tibet. She is also believed as a reincarnation of the green Tara of Tibetan Buddhism, who is seen in many Buddhist thangkas. Lishavi period is known as the golden time for Buddhism. Topic: <inaudible> Buddhism during the Mala dynasty 1200 to 1769. The Mala dynasty saw to the golden period of the syncretism of Hindu and Buddhist art forms by the Nuar. The Paubha, the Nuar counterpart of the Tibetan Buddhist Thangka, flourished in this period. During the reign of Jayasthiti Mala, after implementation of Manudharmasastra, celibate monks were banned from practicing in Nepal. This gave way to the decelibate Nuar Buddhism. Because of this, Theravada Buddhism was lost in Nepal only to be revitalized in the beginning of the 20th century. 
Topic: <inaudible> Buddhism during the Sha Dynasty (1769–1846). The Shah dynasty saw the decline of Buddhism in Nepal where it eventually merged with Hinduism as the Hindu Gurkha rose to prominence. In the north, the Mustang Kingdom ruled by the Buddhist Lopa and the Thakali saw to the flourishing of Vajrayana Tibetan Buddhism in the north. <laughs> Buddhism during the Rana dynasty 1846 There is an incorrect assumption that, due to perceived similarity to Tantric Hinduism, that modern Newar Buddhism in Nepal has largely been absorbed into mainstream Hinduism. However, Newar Buddhism has retained a distinct identity, and nearly all practices, art forms and castes remain. In the north, people of Tibetan origin continued to be the much unchanged practices of Tibetan Buddhism, especially in the case of the Nyamba of northwest Nepal. On the other hand, the Thakali, who had traditionally played an important role in the Nepali society but yet retained Tibetan Buddhism, have begun to embrace Hinduism as well in the recent years. It is significant to note that during the autoratic Rana regime, several Theravada Buddhists were banished from Nepal for preaching Buddhism. The banishment of Buddhist monks from Nepal in 1926 and 1944 was prompted by an attempt to suppress the revival of Theravada Buddhism which began in the 1920s. Also, the rediscovery of Lumbini, the birthplace of Buddha, occurred in this era with contributions from among others, General Kadga Sumshur Rana. <laughs> Shah dynasty After the overthrow of the Rana dynasty in 1951, Buddhism gradually developed in the country. Theravada Buddhists played a greatly significant role for the Buddhist revival campaign in modern Nepal since the 1920s. This revival movement has changed Buddhism from a religion of some ethnic groups and castes to going beyond the caste and ethnic religion in Nepal. Presently, there are three main Buddhist schools, Tibetan Buddhism, Newar Buddhism and Theravada Buddhism. Tourism is an important factor for promoting Nepali Buddhism to the world. Every year, Kathmandu can receive more than 10,000 travelers from all over the world just to visit the Buddha Stupa Buddhanath and the Swayambhu Maha Chaitya Swayambhunath Stupas. These are the remarkable and significant architectural sites, which are only found in Nepal. Apart from these two main Buddhist monuments there are hundreds of Buddhist monuments in Kathmandu and in other main cities of Nepal. Topic. Republic of Nepal 2006 -present. Nepal officially became a secular state in 2006. All religions in Nepal now have equal opportunities to propagate according to their belief. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Current status. According to 2001 census, the adherents of Buddhism are as follows. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> See also Banishment of Buddhist monks from Nepal Topic. References Topic. Further reading The Iconography of Nepalese Buddhism by Min Bahadur Shakya Buswell, Robert E., ed. 2004. Encyclopedia of Buddhism Nepal. Macmillan Reference USA pp. 588-592. ISBN 0-02-865718-7, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link. Mitra, Rajendralala 1882. The Sanskrit Buddhist Literature of Nepal. Asiatic Society of Bengal, Calcutta. Gellner, D. N. Hodson's Blind Alley? On the So-Called Schools of Nepalese Buddhism, Journal of the International Association of Buddhist Studies 12 1, 7-20 Levine, Sarah, Gellner, David N. 2005. Rebuilding Buddhism, the Theravada Movement in Twentieth-Century Nepal. Harvard University Press Beckert, Heinz, Hartmann, Jens Uva Observations on the Reform of Buddhism in Nepal, Journal of the Nepal Research Center, JNRC, 8, 1-30 External links 
Holy sites of Buddhism, Lumbini, Buddha's birthplace Buddhism in Nepal Vajrayana Vipassana, by Akarya Mahayogi Dharma Vajra Sridhar Sjb Rana Theravada Buddhism in Nepal Bhikkhu Khandanya Nepal Vipassana Centers, S.N. Goenka Nagarjuna Institute of Exact Studies Buddhactivity Dharma Centers Database <laughs>